weeks. Here they go. Now they're all running away from me. Okay, we've got some. We've got some. You were coming in this direction. What made you change your mind? Apart from the crazy woman racing around the corner. Now, I know that Faith loves elephant. <laughs> she just whispered, I do, from the back. <laughs> Faith loves elephants. It's hard to choose, though, because I think we're also biased by the animal that we spend a bit of time with. Because I think, you know, if you, if, if you spent enough time following bandit mongoose around, you'd develop a, a brand new appreciation for just how special they are. And that applies to most animals across the board. I've always found that I, especially as a, as a small child, I struggled to connect in the same way with something like a baboon or a monkey. And I, I think that was just because they terrorized me as a child, quite honestly. I think that, that that played a large role in my initial feelings about them. But rhino are what inspired me to do this, to take this on as a, as a lifestyle, not just a career. I was eight years old and I got to go to the rhino sanctuary and I loved every minute of it. There's a car that wants to come past us. I'm just going to pull off the road ever so slightly. One day I'll learn to do that. Every time I stop, one day. Not yet, but one day. I think we found the termite mound that the mongoose are going to bed in. Sinak, yes. Mongoose will use burrows to escape from predators. Absolutely, they will. They will. They have a series of termite mounds within their territory that they have sort of bedtime tunnels in, but they also have escape tunnels. And they'll run, and th their first choice is to disappear down a hole if they're being chased by a predator. Their second choice is to disappear into a tree or a thick bush or something like that. And they can climb. I don't know if any of you saw the footage from Scott's uh, inc unbelievable. I've never seen anything like that scene with the cheetah chasing after the after the white-tailed mongoose. But that was that's a once-in-a-lifetime kind of sighting. Seen lions chase after the banded mongoose. We saw it the other day with the ridge pride on the other side of the river. The biggest threat will probably be smaller cats, though. I miss seeing dwarf mongooses often as well. We hardly ever see them here. They are around, but we just don't see them regularly. Our little banded mongoose taking advantage of the last few rays of the sun. They are strictly, strictly diurnal creatures, unlike the white-tailed mongoose. All right, well, speaking of, the amazing situation where Scott had the cheetah chasing the mongoose. Scott himself is out this afternoon. Let's go and find out what other magical thing he has to show you.